Hey guys, it's me, Annabelle, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint these rocks into bees. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to put a piece of paper over the table so that I don't make a mess. For this project, you will need a place to put your paint on, white paint, Mod Podge, black paint, yellow paint, extra yellow paint if you want to change your color, paint brushes, and two clean rocks. Start by taking your container and pouring some white paint on it. Now you're going to take your rocks and a paintbrush and you're going to paint the base coat on one side of both rocks and let that dry. Once that is dried, paint the base coat on the other side of both rocks. Once that is dried, you're going to paint a second base coat on both of the rocks. Make sure each side dries thoroughly. Once your second base coat has dried, you're going to pour out some black and some yellow paint. For my yellow paint, I chose to mix some other yellows so that I got a type of yellow that I wanted for my bee. Now I'm going to paint a colored layer for both rocks. As you can see, I painted one of them yellow and one of them black. You can choose any color you want. Again, you want to make sure each side dries thoroughly. Next, you're going to take two clean brushes and you're going to be painting the stripes of the bee by using the opposite color of what your rock is. You can paint as many stripes as you want, or as thin or thick as you want them to be. And here I'm just fixing up my stripes. Once your bee stripes have dried, you're going to use white paint and the back of a paintbrush to paint the eyes of your bees. Once your eyes have dried, you are going to paint the wings of your bees by using white paint to paint a somewhat oval shape. When your wing base has dried, you are going to add the details to your wings by painting diagonal stripes. You are almost done with your bees now. All you need are the pupils of their eyes. Use the same technique by using the back of a paintbrush to paint dots as the pupils. And this is how your finished bees should look like. I decided to add some details to the bees by using red paint. 
I created pink by mixing red and white. Then I took the back of my paintbrush to create little dots of blush for each bead. You can stop here, but I chose to add smiley faces to my bees by using the opposite color of their base. And lastly, you're going to coat your bees using Mod Podge. Remember to do one side at a time and make sure that the side dries thoroughly. This is how they should look like once the Mod Podge has fully dried. And that's how you make painted bee rocks.